happy month of November. Happy month of November, Sagittarius, and happy birthday. This is the start of your birthday season for those early Sagittarians. Well, let me say there is going to be a change of direction for you this month as Jupiter, your ruler, goes direct on the 23rd in the sign of Pisces. Now, Jupiter, your ruler, is the planet of abundance, prosperity, optimism, and expansion, and it's in your home situation, your home sector. It is inspiring you to live better, to improve your home conditions, and maybe expand your living space by considering a move or getting rid of the clutter that, that closes up your space. So there's going to be a lot of changes going on around your home. Now, on the 8th, there's going to be a full moon lunar eclipse in your work sector. And conditions about your employment can come to the surface. Now, this is really important because full moon lunar eclipses are extremely potent. Full moons, as we know, are always uh, enlightening. They bring things to the surface, things you weren't aware of. You get a chance to see. Secrets come out of the darkness. You understand? Things are revealed to you. So there's going to be something happening about your job, around your workplace that you didn't know about that may come to your attention. It doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing. It can be that, you know, the job that you've been waiting for, that you've been looking for months to get, will suddenly appear and is available. Now, that's a good thing. Or there can be the matter that you find out that there is a, uh, a co-worker or maybe even your boss working against you to stop your progress. But whatever happens, you're going to find out what is going on about your work situation and you'll be able to make some sort of adjustments, okay? Also, your health, you know, how you feel, your wellness is going to come into play. You're going to start asking yourself or realizing that maybe... You know, you're not feeling as best as you could. This might be a good time for you to make your appointments with your healthcare uh, uh, pr 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 practitioners, to get in touch with your doctor, to your nutritionist, your acupuncturist, and to see what is going on. How is it that you can make yourself feel better? What is it that you need to do or eliminate to make yourself feel better? This is the time to get in touch with your body and make sure all is well. Now, on the 16th, there is going to be a change of focus because Venus, the planet of attraction, is going to move into your sun sign. Woo! Venus is magnetism. It brings things to you. On top of that, Mercury, the planet of communication, is going to go into your sun sign on the, on the 17th. So you got Venus there attracting things, Mercury there making you want to socialize and talk to others. On top of that, on the 22nd, the sun, and this is what starts your birthday season on the 22nd, is going to move into your sun sign. And you're going to feel good. You're going to feel vitalized. You're going to have a lot of energy. You're going to want to move around. You're going to socialize. Okay? And on the 23rd, there is going to be a new moon also in your sun sign. And you can make a different direction or take a different direction somewhere in your life. Start something new. Change your appearance. Change the people you're hanging with. You understand? Open your social circle. Venus is about, Venus is there. Venus is about attraction. It's also about money. You may want to find out new ways to make some money, to make yourself feel better about yourself and, and you know, go ahead and continue to beautify yourself, okay? So this is going to be a, a fun, fun month. You're going to have a lot of cosmic assistance and you're going to feel better. Your chances for getting what you want are really good. So I just want to let you know that with all that uh, cosmic assistance in your sign after the 16th, people will show you favor. Anything that you ask, someone is going to try hard to get it for you. So what do I say? I say ask for everything. <laughs> Have a long list of favors that you want people to do for you. And let's see what happens for you. Sagittarius after the 16th of this month, okay? And let me just say, so Saturn right now is allowing you to make stronger, more determined decisions about your goals. And if you have, have had some solid plans and you were not ready to act on them, this is a good time to act on them because Saturn is going to be there to make sure that they are working for you and that you have everything in order to make your plans work. So... Thanksgiving is on the 24th, and if you are the type of person who celebrates Thanksgiving, just be prepared to know that people are going to be surrounded by you. 
So if you're the type of person where you think you're going to be by yourself, forget it. You know, you, they may send you an Uber. Your family, your friends may send you an Uber to come gift you because you say, oh, I don't feel like driving. They'll say, don't worry. We're going to send you an Uber. Or even better, they're going to just come get you. Okay? So <laughs> forget being by yourself on Thanksgiving unless you're out of the city, away from your family or friends because they're going to come and they're going to want to share your company. And they just want to show you love. They just want to show you love. Okay? So enjoy your holiday if you do celebrate Thanksgiving, all right? So that was your astro reading of your cosmic astro tarot reading. That was the astro reading part. So let's see what the tarot part is bringing your way. So here's the first deck of cards, and the first message for you is, ooh, okay, this is stagnation. So stagnation is don't sit still. Stay busy. You understand? Don't let things slow you down. Be active. You have to be active. You got all that energy in your sign. But you know what happens? Sometimes we get too bogged down, we're too tired. If you're tired, you need to go to the doctor. Okay? Find out what's going on with you. Or we are burned down by our responsibilities. If you are burned down by your responsibilities, you may need to lessen, let go of a few of those responsibilities or deal with them in a different type of way. So do not allow stagnation to get the best of you this month. The second card, the second card coming your way, the second message for you is, oh, this is the, um, this is the nine of pentacles, a money card. Whoa, expect for your money to grow. There's going to be some financial growth coming your way that can be totally unexpected, but that you deserve, okay? And that can be with the rewards of the planet Saturn. And also remember, something's going to be happening around your job. So whew, this can be a good month for getting the money that you deserve or getting the pay that you deserve, all right? And the third message, the third card is, the third card is leadership. Be prepared to take the lead. Don't, you don't have to go by what people tell you or have to follow people around. You be your own leader. You take your own lead. You go by your own voice, your own direction, your own thoughts. This is the time to be in charge of your life, of yourself. You got all those planets in your sun sign. Nothing can stop you. People going to move out of your way this month, Sagittarius, okay? Be a leader. Take the lead. Okay, go move forward. Expect some better money. You deserve it. Okay, and also do not let anything hold you down, stagnate you, or hold you back from enjoying yourself or moving forward this month. Okay, there you go. That is your astro tarot reading for the month of November. And if you'd like for me to take a look at your planets or your cards to see what your personal message is, what are your planets saying for you? What message do they have for you? You can contact me at KimAllen.com. That is KimAllen.com. And let me take a look at your personal cards and do uh, take a look at your chart and see what the message is for you this month for the month of November. And have a wonderful month and thank you.